general versus the army, folks. El Clasico, no match has been played more than Rocket League history, and it's going to continue again here today. G2 versus NRG to advance in the lower bracket. NRG versus G2 may be a story, but this is just one chapter in that incredible book. I am joined by the legendary Big Man Subi Smash, and this is going to prove to be such an exciting time for NRG fans because they're back on a day two of an RLCS weekend. Oh my goodness, I've been in a coma for five years. I just woke up. It's my two favorite teams, G2 NRG. Of course they're in the playoffs, right, Stumpy? <laughs> this is incredible, but rewind, rewind the hands of time all the way back to last year, mm. February, the last time NRG has taken down G2. Can they once again battle father time? Uh, not if Atomic's gonna have anything to say with it. G2 up early. I mean, I feel like the, the main thing to really take away from this weekend for RLCS so far is it has been ridiculous. It has been yeah. astonishing. And North America clearly looked at Europe and thought, oh, we can do one better, though. We can send our top four seeds down into that lower bracket, even not just in this event, the top four, but also, you know, in, that, in the points that we've seen so far in North America. And FaZe Clan, they turned it around earlier versus Shopify, and they got that 3-0. This will be a lot harder, I feel, for G2, because the, I feel like NRG have just got that little bit of shine still about them. Definitely want to be trying to work that back as well. But the implications here are big for G2 as well, because they're trying to win this in order just to gain on complexity a little oh. bit more. Good chance here for Chicago as he pushes alongside Atomic. But getting this win, you get close to complexity, and you look a lot more safer to Worlds when you get up into those number three spots. I mean, the implications are also huge for NRG, right, Stumpy? Like, mm. they are trying to, once again, make it to a live event. They're trying to get to Boston to that spring major, which is basically their only hope at making Worlds. And Justin denied by Atomic. Great read on the defense to deny that shot. He was trying to tuck it under the crossbar. And it looks like NRG feeling really good here on Saturday. Squishy coming down off that ceiling. Nice little reset to push that ball to Garrett. They've got numbers. They got the boost deal, but Justin, a little too slow to follow up, and the offense is going to go to a stall. I mean, you mentioned Squishy and Justin earlier, but Squishy really, to me, yesterday looked brilliant. Anytime I tune into the NRG stream just to see, is this really happening? He was the man. He is that man that Garrett tries to find with that pass yet again. Isn't able to get anything towards him. And one must be the that ball, but Justin very cleverly finds himself up there, takes that into the corner. And NRG, for all the flack that they have got, they stuck with this trio. And if this works out, every single person who has ever criticized NRG is going to have egg all over their face. Or pie, either one. Or oh, pie, very true. <laughs> but, you know, I, I've got a, a silly question to ask. Mm -hmm. And I think I know the answer you're going to go with. But I want. It's okay. It's the same I, I do, because I'm talking about defending world champs in all of these players. Is Garrett going to tie this one up? And they're finally getting the ball rolling here with this goal. But do you think there's a bit of nerves for NRG on this? Honestly, to be completely honest, I think there's more nerves here for G2. Like, I, I think G2 are going to look at this and think, oh, obviously it would be NRG. NRG, they, they, they kind of, they're coming into this as like the underdog. A lot of people, including myself, would see G2 as having this matchup. But if you're going to be G2 coming into it, you're thinking, okay, but we really need to win this. Like, it'd be really good if we won this. We can't come into the lower bracket and then end up flopping out. Like, guys, we need this. Whereas NRG, they have that almost underdog vibe about them, thinking, yeah, like, right. we've got, we've not, they've obviously got the pressure, but they've not got that pressure on them necessarily. That makes sense. I mean, I think people are expecting NRG to lose here after their previous results over this entire season. But, yeah, it's kind of funny. You, you see mm. a team like this with so much history behind them is Garrett oh. able to sneak <laughs> that one just over JNAPS. And how many times have we seen this all throughout RLCS? Garrett G going up against JNAPS. Wonderful pass from Atomic, unfortunately, to the opposite team as Garrett, uh, as, uh, as he is being body blocked towards that ball, gets a cork of a half volley right below the crossbar. JNAPS does make contact, but can't quite squeeze that out. And it's a really good start here. And Garrett G, we didn't talk much about his goal earlier. It was outstanding. The way that he caught it from with the amount of speed that it had, 
I, I didn't expect that he would get as much of a reception to that ball and then get the double touch off the backboard. So Garrett, after Squishy being that MVP yesterday, is going to be the man that we're looking out for today. And Atomic is going to send him straight to that graveyard. Garrett moved from the pitch. Minute 50 remaining. Jane Hamps in the sky. Does relinquish control of that ball. Gets a touch on Garrett, but just too strong as he continues flying and gets the block. Great opportunity for NRG right here to put themselves up by two really put a stamp on game number one at Chicago, trying to get the offense started for G2, but it just feels like the midfield control right now from NRG is brilliant in that infield oh! pass just off of the mark, but it was a thing of beauty. You can tell Squisty and Justin on the same page. Yeah, and Justin, he just had to think at about 0.1 of a second. What do I do with this ball? Hit it a smidge too hard. Can't blame him because that is a very tough shot to try and get on target. Oh. Justin, on that right left ball, you don't want to see him trying to chase, trying to get back into the play too much, thinking that he has to do more than he does. And a lovely pre-jump pass and an even better save. Justin on that goal line, cutting out a confident G2. Garrett immediately on that counter. A to block and it's back down the other end with Chicago. Great pressure here from G2 and a great jump there from Justin to cut that shot out. As 40 seconds remain here in game number one, NRG have to hold on, but they've got low boost. Squishy just gonna boot this one up towards the ceiling, try and kill time. Great drop down pass, but Garrett G sniffed it out. This one boomed all the way back to the orange half. And Atomic, great pass to Chicago, but Good. again, Jared G with the smart play to break that passing play up. Yeah, I like seeing Garrett just dive across there too. Trying to shut down as many chances as they can for G2. A oh, good demo, however. Into the double oh, tower. Oh, oh. She's back in time. Then Garrett lands on it from his initial missed save. The final 10 seconds does see G2 pressure, but a great touch out by Garrett G. Is sent long, and Justin, a good push down the pitch, can keep that ball away. As we approach zero seconds now, G2 have to keep this up. A backflip from Squishy. Central from Atomic. Cut out again by Garrett G. Squishy's going to fake that one out completely. Oh. Justin to receive. Back to the for NRG win a game on Saturday two away from that lower bracket quarters and you see Gary G he's got the RLCS season one elite tag on just showing you how long he has been in the game and how relevant he is staying MVP role two goals in this game but three saves and none more important at the end of the game when it seemed like he had no boost able mm. to get the save as we get a look at our Mobile One high performance replays, it's just nostalgic all over. NRG and G2. It's giving me the same feelings. You're gonna laugh at me here. It's giving me the same feelings as when I watched Hogan mode, right? Because it was nice seeing Scrub in not in, in Europe yeah. competing. And now I'm just giddy seeing it. Justin's got a beard. A Let's beard? Justin. Sorry. So, what? Justin's He's grown got up. Beard. He's no longer the 15 year old phenom. He's a grown man looking to do grown man oh, things in this series. That's as a bit NRG. Of well, that's not saying much, Stumpy. I've All seen right. yours. It looks All like right. you trimmed your, your hair and glued it Move on your face. Move on to me. Do your intro. Uh, that's fine. I, I don't know where we are. Intro, outro. Game one's over. Game two's beginning. NRG looking to start exactly where they stopped in game number two. Great chance here for NRG to put their stamp and see that prove basically all the haters wrong. I am one of the people that literally on first touch this week was saying, <laughs> come on lads, give it up. Like it's, it's not the one. Like fair play made a main event, but you're not gonna get much further. NRG wanted to prove everybody wrong and I cannot express how happy I am to see that longevity from this team still continuing should it continue past this regional event. But Squishy down that side manages to send it long. Just not quite onto Jaina, so Jaina patiently waits. 50s with Justin, but Justin actually maintaining control of that ball, bounces awkwardly as Atomic is in that back corner, can send it high towards Chicago. And a good few pre-jumps, but not enough contact being made for my liking. Yeah, and a great read. Once again from Garagee in the midfield as Jane Apps up. Jane Apps gets the double. Atomic somehow gets oh. the touch. And G2 work together to get the first goal. It was like three threatened passes here too, because Jane Apps, that's on target. No, it's not. Garrett can't quite get that touch on an Atomic really lightly. Justin not quite back in time to clear it away. And then within one minute, G2 managed to secure a goal for themselves. And although it's a lot of that NRG pressure, you have to remember G2 are sitting at the moment in one of those world spots for North America. They are sitting in one of those major spots for North America. This is gonna be, despite the fact that both teams have had an incredibly long tenure with each other and on these orgs, or two of the oldest orgs in North America and in just Rocket League generally, it is going to be G2 absolutely with that advantage.
Yeah, definitely. And G2 off to another cookie starter, cookie cutter start in game number two. As it's Jane Apps and Atomic teaming up together. Chicago yet to get involved on offense, but you see him trying to get physical in midfield with Justin Aww. to keep that offense going for G2. But I like the idea no. from Justin. Justin I going for the pass to Squishy. A bit too light and Squishy wasn't quite on the same page as him. But uh, Atomic, with sheer speed and dominance on that sidewall, manages to clear it around. The defense from Squishy, just he pushes a bit too far. Garrett wasn't back in time either, or Justin wasn't back in time. And Atomic yes. noticing that that entire backside is completely free, and so he can smash one home. Yeah, energy getting a little too aggressive there on that one. All three members pushing forward, and Atame, oh, big kickoff as Squishy puts it back door. I love the vision right here to see Chicago flying in from the right side, realizing his momentum's gonna just push him further and further along. I also like Squishy saving that 10 boost, making sure that he doesn't just use all of it to get to that ball. He knows he's got the four momentum, the ball is floating somewhat, and Chicago is thinking, right, where is Squishy going to put this? Back behind him in the end. Lovely place from front. Cuts down that gold deficit in half. Just the one now. Squishy goes high with one oh. as well. But actually, Atomic bumping Squishy into that ball for the clear away. Garrett lurking back ball, oh. but nobody there to, to, to bump away. And he got tied up on the post as well. That's definitely going to slow down the offense from NRG as Chicago and Justin trade demos. It's going to be a 2v2, but both players get back in time as Squishy Going to boot this one all the way downfield as halftime nearing an NRG down only one goal, but G2 starting to ramp things up. Good block attempt by Justin. Means that Tommy has to get something lightly. In the end, rushes towards those touches and then Garage is able to get in the way. Justin to that battle with 30 with an angle on goal. Blocked out by Atomic on that charge. Chicago goes high with that save. Then the double demo from Atomic means that the entire NRG offense just stagnates until Woo! one to two and Garrett G tries to get a backflip shot from the backboard. Yeah, I love the decision there from Swishy to cut rotations, realizing he had an angle on that ball and be able to disrupt the flow for G2. But Atomic, a man on a mission right now. That's three demos in a matter of a minute as JNAP's hunting Swishy, can't find him, smartly decides to pull off, touch that ball away. Garrett G, big bump on the backboard, but Nothing gonna come of it is Squishy needed to rotate out and all three members of NRG rushing back on defense. It's a good chance there for Garrett, but he just doesn't think he can beat Chicago to the ball. An intelligent decision made as well, but Squishy with zero oh! does not matter. The man is in the way and the man is on a mission. Just somehow finds his way. Zero. That ball just gets hit right towards him. Thanks, Atomic. Literally zero boost, perfect zero. positioning. He just thought, I'm here wherever God takes me. And God gave NRG a goal. I'm sure that's written in the Bible somewhere. Uh, uh, it might be. I think <laughs> it's in uh, John 3, 17, where Jesus take the wheel. But either way, <laughs> things going right for NRG on that play. And Squishy just going to boom it downfield. Man. Stumpy, this is so great. Mm -hmm. Being NRG competing once again in top form. Yeah, in brilliant form as well. We've always praised Garrett back in the day when Squishy and Justin were the mechanical players on his team. They still are, but he he made up that difference. Do you remember during RLCS X and during the start of 21-22 uh, when they then managed to get that grand final in the fall major versus BDS back in Stockholm. We praised him so much for that. And now it seems like NRG as an entire as an entirety have all been working to up their mechanics, up their speed, and getting a couple of these passing plays in. None have been successful so far, but keep teasing them, and one will pay off. Exactly. Is another smart cut from Garrett G. The IQ just on full display right now from NRG, but 30 seconds to go. Big demo from Justin on Chicago. It's going to turn this ball over. They've got numbers. They've got the shot, but denied by Atomic. And G2 trying to hold on by a thread. Final 20 ticking down. Squishy with a shot on target, then bumped out the way is Chicago. Garrett up in the midfield with one touch and the second. He maintains a path towards it. Now Justin has to stare down Chicago. Jane Apps 1v1. He does manage to do so by staying firm on that backboard. A pass central, but Atomic that has to continue off his own pass. Just trying to slow down this offense of NRG. Here we go. Zero seconds left on the clock. Chicago gonna elect mm -hmm. to just hit the floor. And over time we go in game number two. And this one I feel like is a must win for G2. 
G2, as we said earlier, they're wanting to sneak up on complexity in the rankings, get to that safe third world spot. So that's safe for the world's main event. That's on target, but Garagey is going to be bashing it away with that Captain America shield that he always seemed to have, and that Dazarin very plastically of him brought up again. The man is all in on the NRG train after Gen G managed to unfortunately flop this event. Yeah, it's... He got roasted on social media, though, so I think he's had enough. Yeah, and he, he fired some shots back. You love to see it. But, you know, I respect it. You know, he, he didn't falter. You know, he's back to NRG so strongly in the past. They're back in the picture, and he's once again backing them. And, and rightfully so with the way mm. it's looking right here right now because NRG haven't panicked. We've yet to see too many double commits. We haven't seen some crazy old school plays. It looks mm -hmm. like they're fitting right in with the new style. Yeah, for sure. They are looking like a Vogue team, realistically. And Squishy with one demo just unfortunately misses. So that momentum will be lost on NRG's side. G2 really have not had many chances to be getting convincing goals here. In total, they've had six shots, but Squishy has to get that save away from Jane. That's going to be credited with a shot, but it was definitely threatening. Chicago on target oh. over the top. The second can't quite find its way in. And Jane Ups there was also looking for a couple of bumps, trying to shut down NRG, make sure that they're not staying as solid. Squishy over the top, but with God on his side, what is he able to do? He sends Atomic to hell. There's 90 seconds passes in this second game. Here comes Justin. Did he get the flip? No, but Gary G going to get a nice 50 to slow things down from JNAPS. JNAPS to Atomic. That combo has been money this series, mm -hmm. but cut out by Justin as Gary G just trying to keep pressure, keep the pace of play as Squishy just going to bomb this one forward. Is Gary G there? He is and can't quite get the touch he wants as that's right towards Atomic. Atomic goes low with one reset and then the bomb was oh, Squishy. Squishy. The in and out save. I'm not even going to give it his namesake on that one, but with two minutes left, oh. he keeps NRG completely safe. Garrett to beat out JNAPS on the bump. Chicago now up high and central with no challenger. Atomic goes high with another touch back by oh, boy. Squishy still manages to save. The defense starting to thin out from NRG. It's starting to get a little shaky on that back end, but mm -hmm. Justin gonna slow things down, push it up to the side wall. He's got boost, he's got space, he's got time, but JNAPS able to just slow things down in that box. You love to see the patience from G2 on the back end as Atomic pushes that one up. Here comes Chicago. The shot goes a little oh. too high, kisses the crossbar, and we remain in overtime. It was a kiss on the crossbar, but he wanted a full smooch in the back of the net. It will not be given to him on this chance. As three minutes in overtime comes and goes. Oh, what a, a pass. pass! Again, Central Chicago with a dunk of its own, but a dunk pass towards JNAPS. A G2 victory in the second. Great fight in overtime, and ultimately, G2 climbing out on top. The series is all knotted up, one apiece. These teams going blow for blow and right now just seem so evenly matched. Look at Atomic, 841 Whoa. score. Ridiculous. And there was Squishy, uh, sorry, Squishy in this game, 630, but Garrett in the last game had also had over 600 as well. Atomic for, I might anger some G2 fans with this, but Atomic for a little while has looked quite clearly the best player in basically every single aspect on G2. Um, I think he's generally regarded as the best player on G2, but it feels like at times he puts in so much work and so much time, and that's not always the way that it looks then with G2's results. This series, barring that, but the fact they're currently in the lower bracket, along with, yes, everybody else in the top four of North America, it's just a little bit of something to look out for for me, whereas NRG, they seem very team-focused at the moment. They seem as if it's the, 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 they're all pushing towards that same target at a very similar pace. Atomic just a couple of steps ahead of his two teammates, I would say. But a win is a win. Atomic still managing to get that for G2 and the pass play at the end, ultimately, between JNAPS and Chicago as well. It's been good for G2 so far. It's just, as ever, one of those crucial series for them to make sure they nail down, if not for the points, but just for their confidence too. Yeah, to get a look at Sathu talking to his team, giving them praise after getting that overtime win, trying to figure out how to break through NRG and take this series. But you talk about Atomic and kind of being the carry for G2. But, you know, funnily enough, throughout the... Oh, what a bump from JNAPS. What a oh. save from Justin, utilizing that crossbar in the oh. offense. Bang, bang, <laughs> down the field. That's a transition goal.
That is how you do it, NRG. From Justin on the save, Squishy with the pass, and then Garrett with a rocket top right. NRG certainly seem to be back, and they have got the receipts on the scoreboard. Holy smokes. What a turnaround. 13 seconds to get the first goal in game number three when it looked like G2 was once again going to score within the first minute. No, no, no. Justin comes out of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me. Great movement though, down pitch for G2 with a couple oh of points and a couple of double commits. Say Chicago, seeing that bottom right is completely empty. The bottom left is occupied by a couple of NRG players. Sends it the other side, squishing Justin with one of those double commits, Subi, that we said we really hadn't seen so far. You'd hate yep. to see them rear the ugly head. It, 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 I agree, but it, it's only one. Uh -huh. And it's going to happen, especially on that back line. So far. It, yeah, you're right. It's not a trend. It's not, nothing to be too fearful of right now as Justin's up. The shot's down oh. right between the defenders and NRG. Strike once again. Atomic with another loose pass central, though. And his squishy reads it completely. Justin rockets it down middle of the net with the corner of his car. But yeah, Atomic, that loose pass in the middle. Nobody's there to follow it up. And NRG, it's always been such a battle between these two teams. This is the 61st yeah. series between oh the two gosh. of them. They know how each other play. Yeah, they absolutely do, especially with no... Uh, there was one massive roster change for G2 when mm -hmm. Rizzo left and you had Dries come in and then Atomic replacing him. But outside of that... Ooh, that's open. Yeah, and it was for long, and then, you know, Squishy replacing Turbo. So, yeah, th there's mm. been a little bit, but as far as it goes, JNAP's in Chicago, Justin and Garrett G, you know oh, what you man. get, and Chicago starting to warm up, and this has to be a good sight for G2 fans. I said lovely demo, but actually, it wasn't great, because it was actually Garrett demoing the man who wasn't even in the play. Chicago, maybe Garrett thought that pass was going to come in, in which case it was great, but instead Chicago just sees that net and wants to slam it home. Does so brilliantly above the, so below the crossbar. And also, you say that Squishy replaced Turbo. You know that was four years ago, right? That is, no, I don't, because it's just insane how time works. That was four years ago. No, it wasn't. I'm still 21. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> or at least that's when NRG, of course, won that world championship. Um, so maybe it was more like three years ago. And actually, Subi, it was much more current than I'm making it out to be. Either way, the, these teams have played a lot. That's what you were getting at. And these teams go back to what? Season two, three? I mean, it, they've been around forever, it seems like. I mean, a, a, a very fun stat is that J Naps has been. Oh gosh, uh, J Naps uh -oh. has been on G2 longer than any other org has been in Rocket League. That's incredible. <laughs> I, I love that. I just and I love the fact that we have. Hold on, there's Atomic too high on that one, and NRG starting to get a little tangled up on defense. But I love the fact that we have Garrett G going up against J Naps, two of the oldest players in Rocket League, but two of the longest careers mm -hmm. as well, and both still hanging around, still both relevant, still mm. both sticking with the meta. It's just incredible, the longevity of these two. We're halfway through this third game as well, both one apiece and two goals apiece. Could not separate these two with a single hair. Garrett trying to get that dunk on that back line, but Chicago stays firm and keeps it away into the back corner as well with a lovely 50. JNAP's in the sky, challenged by Justin, but JNAP's winning that fight. Chicago up high, Garrett instead this time, the defender on the side of NRG. The backboard is found, but Squishy is shied away from that ball by Atomic, who herds him far away from the optimal path. The one thing that I'm liking from NRG that seems different so far in this Spring Cup is the fact that they aren't giving a ton of space to their opponents. There's follow-ups on their offense, whereas mm. before it just felt like they would have a shot and that was it. There was no one there. They were so spread out. But right now, the pressure's always there like this. Mm -hmm. They're able to maintain Good the bump. offense as the bump comes through. What a smart play. Garrett think that's on target. I just need to remove the man from the equation entirely. Chicago thinks I've got this, no problem. Bang! Bumped away, bashed aside, and the third goes in for NRG. Brilliant physical play from Garrett. It's always been such a, a smart player. And a lot of times with age, 
can come wisdom. Such a wise play from Garrett G on that one is Justin realizing they're up one. Got about 70 seconds to go. We just need to hang on, but how nice would it be to stretch this lead a little further as Garrett G almost gets that extension. Gonna keep the offense going as Justin pops this one up. Chicago forced it into an awkward spot. Used a lot of boost, didn't even get a touch. G2 in a pickle. Jay Naps though wanting to work out of this jar as he gets hit round the side of his teammate, but Justin on that goal line can clear it away. Squishy gets a turnaround and a continuation of that play. She moves it really nice oh, no. the pitch. Garrett G with not enough boost, but Jay Naps was reading that Garrett was going to get a touch there, so they both have a little old wifty wifty. 30 seconds remain as Squishy sends it towards the net. Just trying to poke, keeping them honest on that back for G2. A great inception from Garrett. The 1-2, the third can't come in, but Justin receives centrally with one reset. Pancakes it. It's a pass to make Garrett G two goals clear in the third game. Completely changes the trajectory of that ball. Nobody on the pitch expecting it to pop out to the left. Garrett G positioned himself top box, extends that lead by two. And barring a miracle, NRG gonna put themselves on match point against G2 Esports. Unreal play there from Justin. The pass is perfect. And the final 10 seconds counts down. G2 not working their way back into this and squishy. Keeps that ball close to his chest. And that win remains for NRG 2-1. No Series way. point for NRG versus no G2 way. in Czech's calendar 2023, ladies and gentlemen. No way. You've got to be kidding me. This team refuses to go away after all of the hate, after all of the naysayers. They are one win away from a playoff win. Absolutely incredible, Stumpy. It, I, it, it, it makes me happy just to see that this <laughs> is does. something that NRG and these three players with their sheer unending, un, un, unrelenting determination are achieving together. They will be playing, if they get through to that lower bracket quarterfinals, they'll be playing the loser of Furia versus Space Station. It continues to get harder in this bracket. To get past that semi-final, they'll need to go past either Phase, Version 1 or Optic. He, like, this is still so tough. Justin's got a beard. I still can't get over that. It's still game four. I'm still mind blown. It's still 2023. And we still got one or two more games to play. Well, I mean, when NRG started the downfall, it was so common to see Justin with just the glow of the monitor on his face, the room pitch black. Mm -hmm. In the void. And now, the blinds wide open, the light shimmering through, glistening off of that beard as NRG <laughs> trying to get the win. <laughs> I'm really sorry. The imagery was beautiful, but then he's like listening off that beard. Thank as if you. it's like a, a sodden mess. But look, Justin has been anything but a mess in this series. He has really been such a fantastic teammate and, and everything that NRG are doing so far really seems to be working. G2 had to get that three minute overtime win. Bear in mind, whereas it's two wins so far for NRG in regulation here on Utopia Coliseum, a winner will be found potentially. What a save again! As Squishy from the inside gets a save. Oh a miss from Chicago on that second shot. Still keeps it at nil-nil. You've got to be kidding me. Clutch save after clutch save from Squishy on that back line when there was no one there. He is just keeping NRG in this. Everybody on NRG getting involved and I'm sure chat right now thinks we are completely biased, but just for the sake of nostalgia, it just puts a smile on your this face nice. to see this roster doing well. Chat, we can just be happy. Not right. everything's weird. We don't have to be, you know, always the, the super serious, crazy video games, everything. No, this is just nice and fun and it's good. Smile, because it's sunny where I am, so I assume it's sunny everywhere. <laughs> 90 seconds have passed, still no goals. The fourth game heating up to be a lot more even than we've seen in the previous one. Justin sending it along down that right wing with Atomic to challenge. Actually, wonderfully up that side wall as well, but with zero boost, he can't get it too far. Ash has to leave that ball until j -Naps comes in to challenge it away. Garrett waits that pass from Squishy on that brilliant pass back too, and a backflip sees Squishy send it far enough away 
where we don't see too much continuation on that play from G2. And NRG playing extremely safe here in this game number four. Don't want to go to Champions Field against G2. They realize they are in the driver's seat right now. They don't want to give it away, especially not off of a stupid goal as Garrett G pushes that one away. Squishy can't get there. Great shot by Atomic. It was a well-placed shot from Atomic, but realistically, Squishy, he's in the position to save this. He just jumps off, goes too low too early, has to stay a little bit higher of the goal to clear it away. But Atomic, you take that shot and you just hope it finds its way in. One goal for G2. It was a great push and it was that continued offense as well that gave them the opportunity. Nearing halftime, one goal deficit for NRG is JNAP's come. Squishy on that back end is Atomic looking for a double. Denied by Squishy on that one. Not gonna make the same mistake. Not twice in a row is Garrett G continuation on this play and Atomic boots it forward. Here comes JNAPS feathering the boost, gets the flip reset. J <laughs> Justin able to get the save. Chicago, a little too Dang. wide. The offense just hammering shots, but they're all pushed forward. Big opportunity for NRG right here. There it is. It's a shot on target, but JNAPS can tip it over the crossbar. And I don't want to hammer on Chicago too much, but those are two shots that he's had that really need to be goals. He sent them wide or high. He's not had that clinical play on him so far. Garrett being uh -oh. beaten now on that back line, but a slow flick from JNAPS leaves it to Justin on the backboard to be able to clear it away. And so Squishy actually comes in and gets it around past five by Tommy Squishy with a 1v1. Instead, Chicago is able to beat him out on that save. Garrett Great challenging challenge. with one and a big dive in from Justin, but it's not going to be too bad oh. whatsoever. Oh, it was a good chance for a pass. You're right, Subi, but it just had too much beans on it. Uh, a little bit too much beans on the toast for that one. But I think if Squishy just kind of waits just a, a millisecond, might be able to get that one. Is awkward position, but smart defense from Squishy. Here he goes to take away the angle of the shot. Challenging off that side wall, gonna follow through. Gets the flip reset. 70 seconds remain here, game number four. NRG chasing one still, but still definitely in this one. Mm -hmm. Final minute, I've seen a couple of goals come in so oh, far, baby. but with a demo oh, on that baby. backboard and G2 on a tear, it is going to feel nigh impossible to break out of your own half. A great play from G2 with JNAPS shooting it exactly where the corpse lay from the NRG defender. Brilliant movement throughout the pitch and G2 going clear by two. NRG, a lot of heavy lifting, lest we see game five in Champions Field. The aggression that we're seeing from Atomic it is unparalleled right now. Absolutely impressive. And it's always smart aggression. He's generally not putting himself too far out of the play, not putting himself out of position, just constantly doing the right thing for G2 Esports. Just need to hang on. 30 seconds remain. And Atomic saw Chicago lurking, but Justin over to Squishy, and they need to score on this drive if they want a chance to tie this one up. A chance being shut down by JNAPS, then continued to be shut down by Squishy, who unfortunately sends it long back into his own half. That shot's going to be on target, instead Justin's going to shepherd it round into the corner. Final 10, it takes down, there's no chance really, apart from the style from Chicago. Game 5, NRG, G2 in the lower bracket round three. Normally you'd say that on grand finals like two years ago, but, or like one year ago, but it's lower bracket round three. But the stakes are still massive. G2, they're trying to gain on complexity and NRG need this win if they want to make the major and then finally Worlds. Oh my goodness. The nerves, the pressure, everything just coming to an apex right here. NRG, G2 Esports, such a storied, franchise on both sides of the pitch. We see JNAPS denied on that one, but Chicago following through on the high performance replays. It was the defense from Squishy this entire series, but the one mistake right there punished and capitalized on by G2. Oh, that demo is so wonderful too. On the side wall to clear that final player away because otherwise his teammates are waiting upfield thinking he can get a big clear here. You, you get that on the half volley off the wall and it's going to be an absolute sling slang down to the orange side of the pitch. But now G2 with that slight bit more momentum go to game five. It almost feels like it, game fives exist in their own little bubble. 
where right. the rest of series tends not to matter too much. You both earned a spot to have a one, get one more game, and then you win the series. Who's going to be taking it though? G2 or NRG? I would love to know what chat's oh, mate, going with. Five seconds, five minutes, mate, and I bet we'll find out. I, you know, that that's probably uh, a good bet, but mm. there's a possibility it's, it's longer than five minutes if we go to overtime. That's how this game works. Very good point. Very good point. Thank you. I, I've been around for a while. You have. You are old. Nearly as old as Jane Naps on G2. Good shot. Just below I the crossbar wish. instead. Saved away by Squishy. And the demos continue for Atomic. The man who right now sits in that top six in North in the North America for this event as well in those demos. Getting about two per game. He wants to try and be the man sending as many energy players into that graveyard just to open it up for his team. Squishy. Nice skills displayed off of that ceiling. This one going to be awkward as JNAPS puts it over to the corner. And again, Garrett G cutting rotations to keep the ball alive. This is going to be another one from Justin as Squishy got caught in no man's land there. He wanted to push in, but because Justin cut rotations, it forced him to rotate back. But the offense still going full bore here for NRG, pushing G2 back on their heels. A minute has gone without incidents so far. NRG with Garrett G trying to work his way out of that defense. That actually takes that slow play. And I feel like Garrett's gone for quite a few slow plays here. Considering how fast the meta is right now, a lot of players are being caught out. You know, he's making sure that whenever he goes for these challenges, that he goes low on them. So it manages to find its way in, into a good position for him. But with the demo on that back in Chicago, oh, for the double, a touch has to be made. And Squishy is going to be the one to make it. Minute and a half gone by, and it just feels... It is just completely back and forth. Right now, it's just a defensive masterclass from both sides. As JNAP launches that one on target, forces Justin, after he got hit by that ball, it pushed him all the way back mm. into the net. A lot of force behind that one is Justin up. He's got Garrett G Justin. lurking at the top of the box. And Atomic gonna push this one over to Chicago. They've got numbers. They've got double tap unlocked. Oh! And Justin's oh! got the save. And JNAP baiting out the defense. I, I I thought that was in. I thought that was just going to be a goal. Instead, it finds Justin. He gets that save. With the though passing towards Chicago. The top <laughs> corner saved away again by Garrett G. The defense from NRG is stoic. It is firm. And it feels unwielding. My goodness. Oh, no. A, a rare double commit in this series from NRG there. And... You know, I was saying how close this one feels in a game five as we just passed halftime, still all tied up. I mean, the history says that as well. These teams have met in a game five or game seven 11 times, and G2 just barely edges out NRG with a 6-5 scoreline. So it is impressive how tight-knit these squads have been throughout their histories. Justin removing Atomic from the pitch. A little bit of payback for earlier. Squishy passing over towards Justin on that pre-jump too. No bump coming in. Chicago can clear it away, but on the ceiling again, Atomic has to get a convincing touch here. He does so, but Garrett G is going to be the man to read it. Sees JNAPs go high. Garrett G goes higher with the ball, and the ball does get tackled away. But look at this conveyor belt of offense now. Really starting to form on the production line, hopefully leading to a goal at the end. Justin going to push this one into the corner. 90 seconds remain. That net's wide open. He caught oh! JNAP going for boost. Boost over ball. You're going to find yourself in the fall as Justin puts NRG up by one. Game five. A banger in the midfield. Sees 90 seconds left for G2 to chase this goal down. Opportunities really starting to wear themselves thin for G2 here. With one tackle, Justin removes Atomic's chance here from the sky. One minute 20 is now Chicago with 50 boosts. Gets bumped away from that plate. The aggression for NRG starting to ramp up. Oh Great my gosh, that one well raising across the goal line. They couldn't quite find the shot as Squishy knocks it all the way back towards midfield. Under one minute, and the ball given away by Chicago over towards Garrett G. Justin challenging versus JLAMS. That bounces midfield, and it's Atomic to take a Skyward 
50 boost. Two players defending him, and both of them do their jobs brilliantly. Justin will beat out Chicago to that challenge. Now, JNAP's on that left wall. Can anything apparate for the side of G2, the current North American team, very much on top out of the two? Garrett oh, now with Garrett. 1v1, and I think on the other side, but Atomic with an interception. Justin on target. JNAP's with a dive across. 30 seconds to go here. The offense working in tandem for G2 Esports. They need to keep this ball in the blue half. JNAPS once again with the aggression, hunting for demos. Atomic, great neutral 50-50, but Justin gonna put oh, it over really Chicago. Good. Does he have the follow through? He does, gets that 50-50. Garrett G gonna put it in and put NRG through. Look at the cameras of NRG as well. Garrett, a genius slow touch. Sets Atomic's nerves on edge. The hairs in his arms stand up on end, and Garrett delivers home a sledgehammer to G2's results. Lower bracket round three may well be their graveyard. This kickoff, utterly important. One demo, one block, and one victory. NRG move on to the lower bracket quarterfinals Ooh. in God knows how long.